Coogan Cassius <laughs> IFL TV here in Liverpool for the weigh-in for All or Nothing. Fighting on the Bill Tomorrow Night Live on Box Nation. Thomas Stalker. How are you, Thomas? All good. All good? Nice to see you back from America. And um, what's it like being back in England? Do you know what? It's been a long week. I come straight from there, went to Scotland to old Simbo's uh, press conference. And then a bit of Essex last night. And then Liverpool this weekend. Jet lagged? No, not really. Not really. Got to be everywhere, haven't you? Mm. Got to be seen everywhere. Anyway, anyway, how have you been? Good, yeah. Um, I've had a great camp, obviously, for my next fight um, in, in, in MJ and Marbella. I've had six, six weeks training, like, since I've been here. It's gone brilliant. Everything has been perfect, so I just need a good performance tomorrow at the top. A great training camp, a great everything, really. Um, so it's just about performing well tomorrow and ticking the box of, of having a good performance. I spoke to Derry earlier, obviously I'm very aware of the type of fighters that have been training in the MGM uh, in Marbella, so who have you been sparring with there? Yeah, I've done a lot of rounds with uh, Peter McDonough, uh, yeah. Tommy Coyle, and uh, Peter McDonough is a very, very uh, experienced uh, fighter and he, he's learned me a lot. Um, I can start work and certain stuff what old pros know and I'd like to thank him for that and uh, Tommy Coyle who's a, who's, a, who's a great fighter so I've had them two have been sparring Deco Garrity um, and uh, Kofi Yates yeah. so the sparring's been, it's been first class we've had uh, James DeGale over there as well which has been nice um, so the gym's just been bouncing as well as Matthew training for his fight that's coming up in, in a couple of weeks so it's been, been a great, great atmosphere and a great camp well, how hot is it out there at the moment? It's not. I think June, July, July, August. June, July, August. It gets hotter, but 29th yeah. now when I put it hot. But it's, it's nice. You wake up in the morning with the smile on your face, cause it's nice. And then you're in the gym, training, and then you're at the top of the bar, slanche bar at the top, eating nice food, and just, just, just a good life. Do you find it easier to be away from here and setting yourself up there while while you're in camp? It's been hard, obviously, because. My family moving over in August, so I haven't been able to see my two daughters, my girlfriend. But I've been here, I've been staying with Daniel and, and, and uh, one of his mates. He's like my mate now, Gary. They've looked after me big time um, in every single way. So I haven't had to worry about nothing apart from going to the gym mm. and, and just putting the hard work in with, with my new saying a shaman. So it's been, um, I've, I've, I'm lucky, I'm lucky. I've had no, no distractions, I've just had been training, a bit of sunbathing, and living a good, clean, healthy life. Mm. I've been doing most of that. The sunbathing bit, I've been doing a little bit as well. You know, bit of a tan. A little bit of a tan. I do go darker in the in the summer actually. You just do what you like. You I know, I'm being serious. I go a bit darker. I I can tell because when I take my socks off, you see like white feet. I'm being serious. Really, yeah. It's true. It's true. Uh, this will be your eighth fight. Eighth, Is it eighth, eighth fight. fight. Yeah. Uh, are you pleased with the way things have gone for you since you've turned pro? Um. To be honest, the first couple of fights, a lot of people, a lot, a lot of the Olympians adapted a bit quicker. Of, um, as in, we're looking exceptional in the first couple of fights. I'm um, faced as hell wins. I was a bit, I just lacklustre performances where I, I went, someone you'd watch and you'd go, he's, a, he's first class. But I've always said that the better person I fight, the better the better I fight. And this is going to be another test for me on, on, on Saturday. Um, best fighter to date. And uh, you'll see a, a better Tom Stalker. Who are you facing? Ryan Hardy from Sheffield. Of course, Ryan Hardy, yeah. A lot of people have asked me to uh, interview Ryan Hardy as well. So, uh, how much do you know about Ryan Hardy? Not much. He seems a character. He seems, um, he, he seems confident. Cocky. He's had 8 1 7. One he lost was, was when, like, quite close. So, he's here to win. You know, he's boxed up well to wait. Um, so, he's moving down. Obviously, I think the fight's made a 10 2. So, but it best make ten slow one too. I'll be skipping it off. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's, he's just uh, he's, I've watched them and I know I've got the style to beat them. Mm. That's that's it. All right, well, listen, Thomas. Thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. Do you want to big up any of your sponsors that you've got? Yeah, I was just going to say, can I big up? Um, obviously, MGM Marbella have been absolutely fantastic with me in every single way. Um, Mac Rufin, uh, Sky Wheels, they've been brilliant. Heat the home, um, Radar Motors, and CMP. Thank you. No problem. Thomas Stalker, thanks for talking to Eiffel TV. Wish you the best of luck tomorrow night. Thank you very much, pal. Thank you.